show you guys the I guess new improvements or I guess what I perceive to be improvements but they're working for me so far but um, just a little update to what I carry um, as opposed to if you've seen the last video I had a whole bunch of stuff laid out here so I've been <clears throat> more I've learned the less I've carried and kind of try to lighten the pack a little bit so we're just going to go through it real fast and, and show you show you that and in addition I got a medium Alice pack today. Uh, this old pack here, uh, it was just a cheap $30, I don't even know what kind of brand it is, but the zipper broke on it and that was upsetting me, so I decided to go get a medium Alice pack. Probably will last a lot longer anyway. <clears throat> so we'll go through the pockets I guess first. Some people don't like pockets, I like pockets. So, uh, let's see, I got some Little pamphlets here, California trees and wildflowers, medicinal plants, and edible wild plants. Let's keep those sometimes. Got the cargo tape, that's one of the 10 C's. Got number 36 bank lines, almost a full roll. It's one of the 10 C's. Got some more, more bank line, just little hanks of it here and there. Uh, I don't carry a lot of first aid stuff, but Got some aspirin and some throat lozenges and uh, what is that? Like some anti-diarrheal pills, some Aleve, and some uh, emergency, uh, just to fight off any I don't know oncoming sickness or cold or whatever that you might have. <clears throat> Plus, it doesn't taste that bad either. What else? And we just got some fix and wax. Yeah. Like that. Got our Craftsman folding saw. Uh, probably gonna upgrade that soon to the Baco Laplander, but because the blade is bent, I mean it still works fine. The blade's bent a little bit though, and it was pretty hard to find a replacement blade, so probably gonna change that up soon. That's one of the cutting tools. Then we got the Pathfinder trade knife with a ferro rod and ranger banded to it and on the back side I have my cloth, cloth sail needle so there's one of the 10 C's or I'm sorry two of the 10 C's on there so there's cutting tools that I use in addition sometimes it depends on what it is uh, I might have a little camp axe or something but usually I just go with those two things and I got a file to uh, sharpen that axe and I have the Lansky's diamond rod. Uh, I like that pretty good. I don't use it that often, but it gets nice, pretty sharp. All right. On this, we got the fire kit and a little crown oil bag. Figure I put it put it to use, recycle it. Let's see what we got in here. Got some homemade little. Uh, mini infernos. Got another little bag inside that with uh, some fat wood and some uh, flint and steel kit inside that. The Altoids 10. It's got jute twine, steel wool, magnifying lens, lighter. Uh, I think that's it in there. Oh, and charcoal. And then I got the Strike Force 
ferro rod, and another orange lighter. That way if I drop it, I can find it. <clears throat> so there's combustion. One of the 10 C's. Down here. Ah. Headlamp for the candling device. It's another 10C. What else? A compass that I got orange. Uh, that way I wouldn't lose it, hopefully. Uh, and then I just bought like a little cigarette pouch thing to keep it in there so it wouldn't get all smashed up and stuff. I think that's all the pockets. Some ranger beads on the on the bag already. So let's see what we got on the inside. <clears throat> got our MSR Seagull uh, pot. It's got some stuff in it. Uh, I don't even know what's in there. Uh, rice, some oatmeal. Some coffee, some uh, uh, chicken stock, a couple different spices. I just kind of keep that for emergencies. Got our another container in here. Just our Pathfinder water bottle. Just keep that in there. And it's got the, the pouch. And the bottle hanger that goes with it. Comes in pretty handy if that bottle's hot. Better than burning your thumb like I did at the October class. So that's a container that's uh our two containers, that's part of the 10 C's. Carry my hammock just in case. Let's see what else. I carry a dry bag. Uh just in case I find tinder or I need sticks or anything. Or uh you know, I think it's going to rain, I can put my video camera in there if I need to, or, or whatever the case is, I can put it in there and it stays dry. I got the Double D Hammocks 9 by 9 tarp. It's pretty big. Um, I bought it because when I went to the October class, the school said I need an 8 by 8 minimum. I can't find anything 8 by 8 so I got a 9 by 9 um, it was kind of pricey. It was like 60 bucks, but um, it's made in Scotland, and the people were super nice, and they shipped it overnight. I got it, I think it was overnight to the U.S., and then overnight to my house, so it was like two days I got this from Scotland, and they gave me a 10% discount for uh, being military, uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool, but I like it a lot, though. It's real lightweight. I mean, for 9 by 9 it's only like, you know, I don't know, I don't even know how much it weighs, but it's got steaks and all that other stuff, so I like it. So there's cover. Uh, and then the only other thing I really carry with me is just a, a wool blanket. I got it from the military circle store for like 20 bucks. So with these three things together, I got a pretty good shelter system. Um, if I'm worried about the convection or, or anything like that from the wind or anything like that, I'll, I'll bring a sleeping bag and I'll... I'll lay on top of the bull blanket and sleep in the sleeping bag on top of the bull blanket in the hammock. Uh, I mean, that's about it, really. Like I said, the new Alice pack, um, got that. Just want to show you guys what little bit of stuff I carry. Uh, it varies. Sometimes I'll throw a multi-tool multi in there. Sometimes I'll, you know, um, take the MSR pot out if I'm not going to eat anything. Um, it just depends. You know, like I said, sometimes I bring a machete because if I go down by the river over here, there's river cane, which is kind of like bamboo except a little smaller. And I can whack through that pretty good with, with the machete. Or I bring the little camp axe. Um, but other than that, that's what I carry. So I just want to show you guys. Sorry, it probably took a little longer than expected, but thanks for watching.